welcome to Big Talk. I'm Raymond Terrific, and once again, I stand at the eye of the storm of the world's ills, waving my staff like Gandalf and screaming, let's get this sorted. As usual, I am joined by a panel of brain spurts and mentalismos, a veritable smorgasbord of cleverness that the world is rightly too respectful to eat. These people literally play Trivial Pursuit for fun, and they do it with a little-known actual genius edition. Right, first issue to sort out, climate change. The weather's going bonkers, what are we going to do? Richard? Well, as usual, Raymond, you've raised an absolutely huge question Of here. course I have, Richard. This is big talk. Now, let's get this sorted. There are people in Bangladesh fitting extension tubes to their snorkels as we speak. What's the answer? Is it sponges? Leonard? No, it's definitely not sponges. Good. I like your style, Leonard. Sorry for interrupting. Uh, I think the key is the rainforest. It's vital that we try and impress upon South American governments the importance... Try and of... impress upon the importance of? That doesn't sound like a thing you do. Come on, boffins. Are we talking planting trees? Then I'll plant some trees. And we'll leave the trying and impressing of... Sorry, my, my moustache, which I grew myself earlier, um, <laughs> was starting to sort of wilt. So I thought yeah. I'd, just, I'd just let it go. Just yeah. let it go. Yeah. That's the first thing I learned. Being around you boffins... I'll, I'll keep it in my pocket just for next time when somebody might come it on properly! <laughs> Trying, let's, let's get this sorted, Boffins. Are we talking, are we talking planting trees? Then let's plant some trees and we'll leave the trying and impressing of until kiddies in the third world are learning about drought in history rather than in their lives like some kind of sick field trip. Danielle, make a difference. Well, uh, we need to get serious about carbon emissions. I have done! I got serious about carbon emissions in the car on the way here, so I'd be ready. I also brought pen and paper, which I notice Richard has not. Uh, sorry, but I, I think Danielle makes a valuable point. I mean, we only have to look at the polar ice caps to... To what? To solve the problem? We only have to look at the polar ice caps to freeze them all back up again? Oh, good plan. Now, I hate sarcasm, but you've driven me to it, boffins, with your cold-hearted prevarications, which add up to, let's call it what it is, murder! Oh, oh right, now, let, let's all just calm down. Calm down, boffins! Are you out of your massive minds? <laughs> Leonard, if you were about to burn or drown or starve, I would panic. It would be the least I could do. Well, that's what's happening to people now, and I don't think my duty to panic disappears just because they're not in the room. I am going mental with anguish, boffins, and that's what makes me a man! Next week on Big Talk... Raymond will be discussing international terrorism. International terrorism. I mean, if we change our behaviour in any way, even by talking about it, then they've won. Oh, shit. So they've won. You heard it here first. They've won! Yeah.